Well, hello, our stamping friends who are here for some more new catalog release party fun. So we are at the time where we're going to talk all about these wonderful 2023-2025 in colors. Okay, so the in colors are something that come in. Um, we get a new set of five every year, but they stick around for two years. So um, anyway, let's talk about the ones for this year. Let me just pull out the ink pads. We'll get to where they are in the catalog in just a minute. So their names, in no particular order, are Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, Wild Wheat, Pebbled Path, and Copper Clay. All right, so we'll just set those there for a second. There's lots of fun things, but let's talk about where do you find those in the cat in the catalog, okay? So where you find the ink pads and things are right here on page 122, all right? So here you would find the item numbers for eight and a half by 11 cardstock, um, the stamp pad, the ink refill, and the stamp and blends combo pack, all right? So that's here. Along with all the other, the last year's um, two-year in colors and all our regular color families, okay? Now this year, they probably won't do it next year because the colors won't be new and returning and everything, but you can see that they have labeled new color, returning color, okay? So this section is new for 2023-2025, all right? These in colors that came last year at this time will go away at this time next year in 2024. So if you have not purchased the ink pad or the ink refill, you might want to start thinking about that, okay? Um, I usually start reminding people to get those things around the time we have celebration in January and February because as soon as those, you saw it happen this year on that last chance list, as soon as um, colors like, um, and the, the stamp pads, the refills, and the cardstock tend to go really, really fast, okay? All right, so then we turn a page. Nope. Yes. Okay, so in here we have some assortments and bundles on page 125, okay? You... They are um, down here for our new ones, the 2023, so our in colors are down here. So if you want a package of um, 8.5 by 11, so the, the categories are up here, so you have to come all the way down. Okay, so if you want a package of 8.5 by 11 cardstock that has 20 sheets, four of each of the five in colors, this is where you would go. Okay, these packages back here are full packages of 24 sheets in just one color. Okay, so if you want the assortment, this is where you're coming. Okay, you can bundle the ink pads and get all five ink pads and save 10% as a bundle. Okay, um, this is the 12 by 12 card stock. Um, we, they didn't put the ink refills in a bundle for this. Um, and then also the in color markers. Let me show you what those are like. And I want to show you the new tips too, because I, I did talk about that a little bit, but the, um, so if you buy the markers, you get the Stampin' Right markers. These are not the blends. These are the regular water-based, um, markers. Okay. You get them all going the same way. So they are double-ended, just like our other markers have always been, okay? There's a brush tip with a wide line, and there's a narrow tip with a skinny line, okay? The narrow tip is what has changed. So let me show you that, okay? Let me even grab this and show you. It used to be really hard to write with the old tip. You couldn't color with the old tip. Okay, it was really super fine, and um, 
it just felt like it you had to go really slow or whatever it, they just I was never happy with this with the narrow tip um, I was always much happier with the brush tip and um, but I do like these these new um, narrow ended tips all right so markers okay what else do we have in these in colors we have this fabulous ribbon I only have um, do I need to show? Oh, yeah, one more thing, and then we'll close the catalog so you can see everything better. Here is where you find the In Color Designer Series paper on page 133. Okay, so you're going to get um, four of each of two double-sided. So you have the hearts and the lines and the bold stripes and the dots. Okay, um, so anyway, you get quite a few sheets of that, which is pretty great. Right. Um, so that's where you find all that stuff. Okay. So the ribbon. Really nice. Um, it's got a texture to it. It does fray. So if you like ribbon that frays, yay, it does pretty easily. Okay. If you don't like that look, you are going to have to cut. I should have brought my good ribbon scissors. You're going to have to cut this and not handle it or tie your bow and everything and then trim your ends if you don't want it to fray. Okay. It is a little thick for bow tying. Um, I find that maybe going around and then slipping a piece underneath and just tying a knot or something works a little better with this kind of ribbon. It is three-eighths of an inch wide, um, and it, it does come in all five colors. I just happened to get the boho blue for myself. All right, the other um, accessory that comes with the in, that is designed to go with the in colors are these, um, what do they call them? In color dots. Okay, so they have a relatively flat profile, so they're not going to add a lot of bulk. Okay, um, you get 10 of each size in each color. Okay. Um, so the boho blue, the copper clay, the moody mauve, the wild wheat, and the pebble path. Okay, so you've got your five in colors. So that's a lot of a lot of bling. Okay, a lot of bling. All right. So if you are somebody that um, got a catalog from me or will be getting a catalog from me or whatever, um, I put one of these in your catalog so that you have a little chunk of the cardstock to help you with color. Okay, so if you are getting a, a catalog from me, you'll get one of those. All right, what else we got going here? Um, let's talk about some things. So if I'm also going to make the um, color coach file available to all of you, and um, that are on my newsletter uh, email list. And I love this because Stampin' Up! went through and their concept artists pulled chunks of cardstock and whatever and came up with combinations that worked well. Okay. Um, so I love this. I just printed mine out. Um, on white cardstock in my own printer, okay, and then on I mount so it's on white, and then I I put a, a little piece of the cardstock. So I think I cut these down to three by four, and the little chunks of cardstock are three and a quarter by four and a quarter or something like that. And then I ran them all through my laminator because I could, so I did. And then the project. Um, very soon is to use my crocodile and put a hole in there and, and hang them on a big um, book ring. So this way, when it's on the ring, I can flip it over. If this isn't enough for me, 
I can flip to the back and I can pull these out. I can fan them out and put them next to each other. So that's why I wanted to have a piece of the cardstock on the back. Okay. But I also put um, where it came from. So it's a 23, 25 in color and the, the name of the color on there so that I had those. Okay. So that is something that you could do once you have the file for these if you choose. All right, let's do a little compare and contrast, okay? So let's take our wild wheat and let's put it next to crushed curry and old olive, okay? So next to the crushed curry, it looks a little green, okay? It pulls a little more gold when it's next to the green, okay? But we really don't have another color even close to that. All right, let's see. I'm just going to stack those over here. Let's move on to Moody Mauve. All right, so here's Moody Mauve. This is Flirty Flamingo. Like, I was searching. I, it was hard for me to try and find something to compare this one to because we just don't have anything. Um, Berry Burst, not even close. And um, Melon Mambo. Okay, so not not really even close. And I should have maybe pulled like a Highland Heather or something, but it's not close to that either, I promise. It's just not. And um, anyway. All right, so let's take a look at Pebbled Path. This could be one of my favorites. I, I love a good neutral. Okay, so Pebbled Path. This one, let me just look. Okay, so here's Smoky Slate. Okay. This one is Gray Granite. So you can see the difference between Smoky Slate and Gray Granite. I really like these two together. This has that little bit of brown underneath. Okay. And then Basic Gray. You can see how different it is from our Basic Gray. Okay. So there's that one. Let's see what we have next. Ooh, Copper Clay. I like this one too. Um, so here is Calypso Coral, right? Next to some of the other um, subtles. It doesn't look this orange at all, but here it is, uh, Calypso Coral. And Cajun Craze. So you would think, oh my gosh, when you just look at that, you go, oh, that's just like Cajun Craze. And then you put it next to Cajun Craze and you go, oh, no, it's a whole lot more brown than Cajun Craze is. Okay, so it's it's interesting to do these color com uh, comparisons. Um, so another could be my favorite because I am a little partial to blue. My daughter will tell you that more than half my wardrobe is blue. Anyway, Boho Blue. Here's another new color, a returning color, okay, a, a returning color of Misty Moonlight, okay? So you might have thought, oh, why'd they bring Misty Moonlight and have Boho Blue? Well, that's because they're not really as close as you would think. And then you might think, well, isn't it pretty similar to Balmy Blue? Nope, not similar to Balmy Blue either. And then just for kicks, because of the lightness, I brought Pool Party. But boy, Pool Party looks green next to it. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right. So that's those. Let's make a quick card, and then I'll show you some samples. So let me first start with these, because the, this is like the one I'm going to make for you. So I just loved Doreen's little zoo crew characters and the, um, the little raccoon with the balloons was just so sweet. So I had seen an idea and so I just colored the balloons the same color, used the in color gem and the designer series paper and then a, a, a layer that's the same color but embossed. And this one is using that sort of crosshatch one out of the basic um, em embossing folders that are part of the online exclusives. Remember, you don't have to order them online. Um, 
they just won't be in any print publication. So if you want them, you can always add them to an order and I can get them for you. You do not have to go online and shop, okay? Just letting you know. If you like shopping online, that's fine. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. So there's the copper clay. And here's our little raccoon friend holding moody mauve balloons. And the wild wheat balloons. And our pebble path. They're kind of depressing balloons, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. So do you remember what one I'm missing? Have you figured it out? I bet you have. I saved the best for last. <laughs> Boho blue, right? I'm just telling you, I'm a blue girl. I can't help it. Somebody told me that when I wear blue, it brings out my blue eyes. And so I now just wear blue a lot. All right. And remember, when you're, when you're creasing, you're going to go into the middle and then out to each side so that you get so that this edge stays nice and straight and even, right? All right, so then we're gonna use our seal and put this layer on. And because it's got that texture, I'm gonna give it a little extra um, adhesive. Some people use the, the um, green glue, we call it, or the uh, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, um, whatever. You just want something when you've got, when you're adhering a embossed layer, you just want to make sure that it's not going to do anything funky on you. Okay, so then we have some strips of designer series paper, and I'm just going to take my snips and trim the ends at an angle. Okay. So I'll just, whoops. All right. Yeah, I'll go this way. Okay, so now we have some angled pieces. We can use our seal. Put it right there in front of me. Couldn't find it. Okay. Put one here. And we'll put the little dots next. like this and then we'll put our bold stripes oh look the dots are on the back okay there we go and then i used the stylish shapes the biggest banner and then this comes from i think it's called artistic greetings um, i just wanted a nice big bold happy birthday um, so we're going to put that on dimensionals. Okay. And then I've got lots of other samples to show you. Whoop. Let's not put that on upside down. That would not be good. Okay. There we go. All right, then we have our little raccoon. So I have some mini dimensionals. I sometimes call them baby dimensionals. They're so cute. They work perfect for this kind of small space like that. And whoops, just cut a couple of these and put one up here like this. And then I'm going to use a little liquid glue. You'll see why in just a sec. A little on the bottom of his tail and his feet and across the bottom of his body. And we'll take these backings off. There we go. One more. And then we're going to just put him over here. So he's being supported by something that is already on dimensionals. And then we'll just put him up there like that. 
Have fun floating away, my friends. All right, then we'll add our gems. And we'll put one down here. Actually, we'll put it right off of there, I think. Put it down here. We'll put the middle size one up here, maybe right in that dot. And then we'll put the little small one over here. Kind of so we get a little color there. All right. So there you go. Isn't that cute? They came out so, they were so fun. All right, so let's see what else I've got over here. All right, so this one lost a gem. Not sure where that went. Anyway, I used a deckled rectangle and some pieces of the countryside uh, designer series paper on a boho blue. And I believe, I'm trying to think if that's, um, I think that's Knight of Navy. Yeah, because that's Knight of Navy, um, which was the very first color I ever got from Stampin' Up. So it's been around a while because I've been stamping for 20 years. And Knight of Navy was one of the first colors I got. So Knight of um, Boho Blue and lots of Boho Blue in that um, designer series paper. So here's a moody mob using the circle sayings. Okay, a little bit of pebbled path right there. Um, the, did I, Pebble Path, Petal Park, that's why I was thinking, oh, I just said that. No, I didn't. This, these are from the Petal Park um, bundle, okay, and I just did a little belly band. When you do a belly band, you want it to slide on and off pretty, pretty easily, okay, and then it opens here, okay, so it could stand up or it can get... Let's see if it'll go back on the way I want it to. Oh, yes. Right there. See? Okay. So there's that. This fun design I found from um, Patty Bennett. So it's a quarter of sheet of cardstock right there. And then almost all the rest except for my, my punched circles are is designer series paper. Okay. So you, she called it a 2468 card because when you cut when you score your designer series paper you score it at two four six and eight and then it fits on this backing piece and then I just put a inside here's some of that boho blue ribbon and the boho blue uh, circle and then one here just because I didn't I didn't want that line to be showing I wanted it to look more finished and here's the Knight of Navy one on the back of that one. Okay, that was a fun one. We will probably do that in a fun fold class soon. Okay, then we did when Doreen and Janice were here one day, we made a set of these daisy cards, and I used the little brass butterflies because they're so cute. Um, we use different embossing folders, so this one uses the dots. Boho Blue and the Fresh as, uh, Fresh as a Daisy, okay. And the Timber seemed to go well with the Copper, so we did that. Uh, we used the Painted Texture with the Moody Mauve. Probably not going to fit all these. Uh, we used Time Worn Type with the Pebbled Path. And we used that Hashtag One with the Wild Wheat. Okay, so that is your introduction to our new 2023-2025 in colors, okay? Um, I would love to have you throw in the comments which one is your favorite. Are you a blue girl like me? Are you someone that loves the neutrals? Are you more of a pinkish person? Um, what What's your favorite? Now I will tell you this one. Uh, is growing on me quite quite a bit. I'm it, I, I'm not as opposed to it as I was initially. Okay, <laughs> initially I went, oh my gosh. But now I'm like, yeah, you know, that's gonna have a place. It's probably not ever gonna be something I reach for all the time, but it is growing on me. 
and it will be something that I that I will use for sure. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. It's always fun to stamp with you. And um, let me know how I can help if you need to order any of those beautiful colors. All right, thanks so very much. Take care, and we'll see you again.